wiggle, wiggle. Like. Welcome back, The Muffin here. Uh, I've had, a, had another subscriber request uh, to do a tips on the mouse gen, um, kind of similar to the mouse, but with a big tumor on top of its turret. <laughs> um, but you look at the strengths and weaknesses of the mouse gen, and its, its strengths are it has great armor. It does really have a good armor profile um, all the way around. And when angled properly, you can bounce just off of about any angle from this thing. And you'll even see that in the replay. I even bounce things that are being shot from behind me, in front of me. And this thing, its weaknesses isn't very good in terms of gun depression, speed, maneuverability. So you want to try to avoid areas like those. But its strengths, going, kind of going back to that, has it's got good armor. Um, it doesn't have very good gun depression, but it, you know, it, it's basically all in all, this type of tank deals much better in town areas, um, areas where you can side scrape. And even when you're side scraping, um, I try when I can hide the side that my Capola is on. You'll notice it's on one side of my tank, more on the right side. And just like here, I'm trying to get the enemy in a very uncomfortable position where they're having to deal with my strength and I'm exposing their weakness, where they're getting a bit pinned down. I didn't want to go out on the far left with this tank because it basically puts me in a position to go against the enemy's tank's strengths and puts me in a position to expose my weaknesses. Because these tank strengths, like if you look at them, um, they all have like fairly decent uh, gun depression. Um, they have decent turrets, like that WZ. Um, and also I think it's that STB or that, there's also a T62A. Uh, uh, but that Japanese medium and those type of tanks that this flank for them is a great position for them but a very bad position for me and so being and putting up more pressure and coming in at him at an angle and what was also very helpful about this position was that helped me get here was the fact I had the grill behind me now this is i'm trying to like you'll notice with my tank i'm when i do notice an enemy is targeting on me to take a shot i'm never really trying to sit still i'm really trying to wiggle um like wiggle wiggle <laughs> kind of like i don't know why my theme song at the beginning uh, that i use just kind of popped in my head but um i try to wiggle my tank as much as i can because it'll it'll help shake off that enemy's accuracy when they're trying to shoot at you and then you can bounce those rounds so um very so much i mean it's slow but it's got good armor it doesn't have like great gun depression but this thing is <laughs> is really just all armor so really putting yourself in positions where you're on the front lines you want to know how to side scrape in this thing um, when enemies are focused on you, you can't just keep your turret just looking straight at them. You do have those weak side cheeks, um, so you can get easy to uh, be easy to pen, and you do have that massive cupola on top, so that <laughs> that makes it a little bit more difficult. Now, that was an excellent um, example replay. I just played two games back to back, not really knowing how these were going to turn out. This one was a bit more tricky because the Naval Fortress is basically hills everywhere. And going down on this side, I knew if I were to cut down straight, I'm looking at the enemy's lineup. They do have a couple light tanks that could spot me and easily get shots off. So I'm not going over here to camp. I'm just trying to go over here as more of a safe like passage and then to cut down and go through. But then I start noticing our team starts detecting more and more like their whole team so here now i can start trying to side scrape and get shots off from that enemy position but if there was just one i would have tried to kept myself as far over to the right to um, avoid getting detected and then i could have gone down maybe a little bit at an angle going down the hill 
um, to try to cut across. But here I'm basically side scraping and <laughs> I'm not using really effective aiming techniques. Um, the mouse gen is much, like I said, it's much more of a frontline tank. So I realize here I'm kind of playing it like how it should be, but not because I'm too far back and you're, you're going to see um, um, how, why that's a little bit of a struggle because I'm just too far back. I need to get in the game and I notice the enemy is now pushing and coming up around the left side. So I'm trying to get in there and <laughs> here is its maneuverability. As you can tell, you know, it's not shining, but I'm really trying to get over here to the center. And so I can help my team and just get to those front lines, try to bounce the rounds um, and help my team as much as I possibly can. And um, so that is really how you want to play the mouse shin is like I said, it's all armor. This thing you want to keep more on flat ground, flat territory. Now, if you have a whole team that ends up going hills and flank and you're obviously not going to want to go the complete opposite way into town. That's definitely not what I'm saying with this thing. Um, if you have, I mean, you're very, very slow. Um, typically, like sometimes what I'll do is if I, with, there's a lot of the medium or light tanks that are, or even the majority of my team it might be going left out on the flank. Sometimes I'll go in the middle, but more so to the side of where um, my team uh, can help if we, I end up spotting them in the town. And then I'll immediately get myself in a position to side scrape, you know, and try to do something. Um, now this M103 definitely knows what he's doing. I'm trying to wiggle. I try to, the other thing that helps too when you're up this close is to put your cannon up. Now, the Malachian cannon is pretty slow, but I'm trying to put the, my cannon kind of up and I'm trying to angle my turret here to try to help bounce around. This guy is doing really good. He's actually kind of kicking my butt, which is, um, so honestly, whoever this guy was, if you're watching this vid, hats off to you, 07. Um, but these are just some of the tips, hopefully things that are helpful with the tank. Um, you want to keep this thing once again, more on flatter ground. It's all armor. You need to know how to side scrape, protect that cupola, wiggle wiggle when enemies are trying to aim and take aim at you um, and just angle your turret a bit um, if they are trying to get shots off and that could help so anyway muffin here um, you guys stay cool and keep tanking